acid chlorides react with ammonia to produce amides, and I'll show you how. The carbon of an acid chloride is double bonded to an oxygen, which is electronegative, and single bonded to a chlorine atom, which is also electronegative. That means its partial charge is delta plus. The negative charge density from these bonds spends much more time near the oxygen or chlorine, meaning that this carbon has been stripped of that electron density and is given a partial positive charge. That's ripe for attack by the lone pair of an ammonia molecule. When that happens, this carbon chain, however large, is still attached to that carbon. In order to accommodate this new bond, the double bond between the oxygen breaks. And you end up with that oxygen single bonded to the carbon. It now has a formal charge of minus one. You still have the chlorine attached, and you are now attached to nitrogen. That nitrogen itself is attached to its three hydrogens. It has a formal charge of plus one. And you end up with this. Kind of looks like a zwitter ion with a plus charge on one side and a minus charge on the other. At that point, the lone pair from oxygen tries to reform the double bond and chloride is the thing to leave. So you have the carbon chain that was on the left, a double bonded oxygen, and an N, which itself still has three hydrogens attached to it. That's a formal charge of plus one, and it's the chlorine that left that has a formal charge of minus one. It now has a full eight electrons. That chloride can come in and steal one of those H's away, give the bonding pair of electrons to N, and thus you have a carbon with a double bonded oxygen and an NH2. This is what makes it an amide. Here, if you start with uh, ethanoyl chloride, you'll end up with uh, ethanamide, notice that the carbon chain length didn't change from 2, F, to 2, F, but now it's an amide, double bonded oxygen and N. Now this would have worked as well, even if you had a couple carbon chains on here, this could have been, uh, I don't know, dimethylamine, as long as you have one H that, so that that H can be lost as the chloride swoops in to take it away to reform the lone pair on nitrogen. As long as you have, as long as it's not a tertiary amine here, you're going to be able to make this reaction happen. Cool, and that's it. You're going to attack the carbon with the lone pair on nitrogen. You're going to lose the chloride, and the chloride is going to be the thing that takes away the one extra hydrogen from the ammonia to leave you with the amide. I should also point out that we're forming HCl here. Of course, that chloride stole the H to make that byproduct. There you go. Beautiful mechanism for a beautiful student like yourself. Best of luck.